All right, today we are going to be finishing our project and what we're going to do is mix the grout and apply it and then it will be a finished piece. Looking forward to that. All right. So we got a mask up. Do you have your mask? Uh, yes. That much yours? Yes. And we have a mask up. Never manage, never deal with concrete without a mask. And I'm going to use this uh, uh, polymer additive for my, my liquid. Actually, with this uh, type of uh, grout, I could use water. But, you know, since I've got it here, it just adds a little bit of extra oomph. Pouring some of this in. Once it's now completely wet, so I can take the mask off, which, you know, is a little uncomfortable. And I have to mix this for five minutes. So we'll make that a little short for the camera. Thank you. That's what came out first. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're going to put the grout on to the piece, smother it, be sure it's every place, and then we're going to wait a few minutes before we wipe it off. And so it'll level up. Now these little gold pieces have paint on the outside. And in order to be sure that we can hope that they'll, they'll not be uh, picking up too much grout, uh, why don't we try to take and put it out and then push it around to it, okay? okay. So kind of try to keep it off the top. It's going to, we do okay. want it around the side. Sure. And we will be pulling it off and wetting it off later. Okay. But the, the less that's on the very top of these pieces, the easier it is, we know, to get it off. Okay? okay. Mm -hmm. So start in the middle and out. Yep. Okay. And, well, actually you can use this. Okay. Yeah. You, well, you got... You, you can do it that exactly that way. Okay. All right. Here we go. go ahead. I'm going to start here. Just yeah. because. And you want to push it in. So, you know, it's... Uh, so I'll help you do some of this. You Thank know, you. It's like, so squish it in there. Get it in good. So it's kind of scary the first time you do this. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my gosh! <laughs> and you can sort of see why it's so important that uh, the stuff be in there and glued down well. And always like the consistency like peanut butter, correct? Yeah, peanut okay. butter. And uh, that's a the bags tell you the proportions, but what happens is that we were using such smaller sizes that you basically have to wing it. <laughs> pay attention to how long they say to have it mixed and pay attention to how long they say to have it weighed in between and for drying times. Well, I These have are... a lot of my gloves and unfortunately I'm getting coloring over there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to Get you some. All right. Here. All right. Throw the. Take the glove off. We're going to give you another glove. Okay. And if you need to have a little powder on your hands to get it in there easily, but go ahead. And we want to. Because this sets up pretty quickly, so we definitely want to keep rolling. Keep growing. Okay. Yeah. Grout comes in, some of this prepared grout comes in many different colors, and you can make your own colors as well. And depending on the type of grout uh, is what I would use, but most acrylic uh, paint colors or pigments would work. Now they use pretty intensive pigments here uh, to make this black. So it would be a lot easier just to buy it pre-colored 
than to try to mix your acrylic paints in it. But if you're doing something that uh, needs a specialized color, you can do that. And they also, they sell many shades of, of grout. For me, I chose black because all of the, the actual cut pieces, the cut glass are so vibrant, I thought the black would be a good offset and to make the colors pop a whole lot more. So this is starting to set up that. Okay. Okay, okay. get it on there. Just get it on there. <laughs> so. Get her on. Okay. I'm going to try to avoid areas, but you know what? <laughs> Not. And. Okay. Ah, uh, well. Oh my. Oh no, put it on the top. Yeah. It didn't work. We're going to find out how it does. They'll be fine. Well, it would be normally fine with anything, so but it's yeah. gonna like paint on top might right. actually come off. And yeah. if it does, no big deal, we'll paint it more. It'll be, yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> and then around the sides. I well. yeah. yeah. I like the sides. Anywhere that uh, anywhere that doesn't get covered, mm -hmm. easy to paint it with acrylic paint. This is much easier to remove than con the regular concrete. Right. Because it's. Uh, Yeah, what do you think? Well, it's pretty good. We're gonna let this sit before we really tackle it. Okay. For about uh, 10 or 15. What I like about the spatula is that it seems it's it's smooth, really. It's smooth, so nice. comes out, kind of flat, it moves out. Well, like so. you can actually see things. Yeah. <laughs> so well, you yeah. will when when you start uh, when we start doing it. But uh, you know, it's like they we don't want to take too much off because we want to be sure we have a nice consistent uh, uh, level. Okay. So spread her all around. Peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, we're going to wait uh, for uh, 15 minutes, and we will start moving out a little bit more. Now, on the piece in the back, B's, B's piece with the uh, uh, blue willow, she's going to be using a silver gray grout. And we haven't seen it yet, but we're hoping there's actually a little bit of silver sparkle in it. So we're going to find out. One of the nice things of, uh, about the grout is that it does help to protect the piece and it, it provides texture, it provides a uniform uh, feel overall. And uh, one of the people I really admire, Perrin Callery, who's an artist at North End Gallery, and she does uh, ceramic pieces and mosaics that uh, are very, very smooth. She creates her own tiles. And what she is doing is she's got a, her grouting technique is so smooth that she has these outdoor pieces and the water literally just sheets off of the piece so it doesn't sit there and, and uh, have a, the risk of the, the freezing on the piece in its vertical positions. She's done, oh, she's probably the best grouter I've seen and her work is beautiful as well. So any which way, we're gonna see how our, our stuff does in about 15 minutes we'll be taking our, our grout off. All right, we're, we're removing it now. This, it's been 15 minutes, so we're taking and using the very top. We're just doing this. Now we're gonna shift over and use a wet sponge to take the, to take the uh, stuff off. This is a uh, damp sponge. Thank you. And just start wiping it away. And we're gonna use this trash can here. You just Yeah. Yeah, that's a big of a bucket of water. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And you can use this side and see how that is. Mm -hmm. Just. Try a smaller one. Let's see how that works. Okay. 
certainly looks a lot better. You can actually see the tiles now. Yeah. Okay. And just like I say, just keep her dry as much as you can. Not dry dry. Mm -hmm. Although I have used totally dry uh, works to take and, and pull it off without getting it wet. But I think the, what the wet, when you get it wet, it makes a smoother type of surface connection. So these orange pieces here need to come out. Yeah, they'll come out that, that little by little. Don't don't okay. don't put too much pressure. Don't put in. too much. Okay. Now you got remember you got all these guys hidden in there. Yes. So it. that might be the area you want. Beth has got it cleaned out to the point of just almost at a point where it's at a haze point. This is still setting up. It'll be 24 hours before it's totally dry. And, you know, it's like it's not unusual to have a light haze on the surface. As soon as this product is totally dry, that haze comes off very easily. And, uh, you know, the idea is to use the water, very, very dry sponge, but wet with water, to do the cleaning and then to do, she's doing paper on, directly on the glass, not onto the grout joints. So um, the grout joints are kept smooth by that li very lightly wet sponge. And uh, once this is dry, she'll be able to come back in and put a little bit more pressure and it'll absolutely clean up and be shiny bright and perfect. Um, and as you can see, the colors are getting more and more vibrant every time she goes through there. But there's still a light haze of, uh, of uh, uh, grout on the surface of this, just the normal way it is. And uh, we were really kind of careful about the little gold dots because on those dots, the paint is on the outside and we wanted to be sure that we didn't leave any um, grout on top of it that dries because then you may have to use a little bit more mechanical scrubbing to get it off if it's more than just the haze. And even the haze, if we can get just the paint area because it is, it is more delicate. Um, the glass, uh, a little scrubby brush or the scrubbies uh, will take that glass and make it shiny, bright and beautiful. And once it's dry, uh, you can do that. Um, Water, soap and water is probably the best way if you ever have to clean this. It should be, you know, waterproof so you don't have to deal with that, um, you know, depending on what you've used. And in this case, it's all glass. Um, cleaners, other kinds of cleaners are, could be a little bit more abusive. Uh, but, you know, if something happens where you've got grease or something on it, use Dawn. Use, you know, go ahead and try it. It should, uh, all of it should work. I'm very pleased with how the piece came out. And again, Mary, I thank you so much for your expertise in this. Um, I do <laughs> think I'm going to hang it in my office at work. Um, I'm very proud of it, and I want to show it off. <laughs> oh, this is, you know, you did a great, great job. Thank Beth you. Beth has the touch. She really, truly is a natural. She was cutting that glass beautifully and quickly. I still <laughs> struggle with times with glass, but she did a great job. Thank and, you. Uh, oh, and wow, look at this pop. See the center orange? She's just done a, it, it will continue to get brighter and brighter as, as it dries and the haze is removed. Wonderful, wonderful. Yay! Thank you. Yes, I'm right. very pleased. <laughs>
Beth, this was wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mary Ida. I am just so pleased with this experience. Um, just your expertise has been wonderful, and I do appreciate all of your help in creating this wonderful piece. I will be hanging it into my office, as I just want to show it off to everyone. Thank you. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed uh, their, our projects. I enjoyed this. I call them play dates. I, d I believe in having fun while we do this, and we definitely have had fun. A lot of stuff, and we had munchies off camera. That's right. <laughs> uh, well, enjoy, and thank you again. Well, if you are interested in seeing my work, and uh, um, I am in North End Gallery, and that is northendgallery.com. And uh, welcome to Wintertown. Come on down and see stuff. Thanks.